in the book of Matthew chapter number 26 Fungua Biblia yako katika Mathayo 26 We are going to read line number 14 15 and 16 Tutasoma ya 14 15 na 16 Then we are going to read uh, the same uh, in Matthew 27 Na pia tutasoma Mathayo 27 We are going to read line number 3 tutasoma aya ya tatu. we shall also read the book of john chapter number 12 pia tutasoma yohana 12 and line number 6 na aya aya sita. and so that this thing can sink deep in our spirit na ili haya mambo yaenda kilindini mwa roho zetu we are going to read luke chapter number 22 tutasoma luka 22 line 1 to line number 6 aya kwanza hadi ya sita. the bible says biblia sema in matthew chapter number 26 katika mathayo 26 and line number 14 aya 14 i am teaching you about the spirit of betrayal na kufunza kuhusu roho wa usaliti and its characteristics na tabia zake and when i'm talking about the spirit of betrayal napozungumza kuhusu roho hii ya usaliti i am not limited to the church na si kwa kanisa tu because this is a spirit that has touched each and every one of us kwa sababu ni roho imegusa kila mmoja wetu it is a spirit that is working in our nation ni roho inayofanya kazi katika taifa letu and it is on a high increase na inaongezeka kwa kasi ya juu it is a spirit that you shall find it in the church ni roho utaipata kanisani it is the spirit that you find it in our families ni roho utaipata katika familia zetu it is a spirit that you shall find in our working priests ni roho utaipata kazini it is the spirit that you shall find it in our business world ni roho utaipata katika ulimwengu wa biashara it is a spirit that you shall fight deep within us ni roho utaipata kilindini mwetu i want to say this from the onset nataka kusema hivi tangia mwanzo that almost all of us karibu sisi sote have ever become a catcher of the spirit in one way or the other tushaifanyika waathiriwa kwa njia moja ama nyingine and i am going to be believe na nitakuwa kwa mtasadi tu because i want us to contend against the spirit maana nataka tupigane na hii roho hallelujah hallelujah and the carriers of this spirit wanaobeba roho hii they are not strangers hao si wageni hallelujah hallelujah this spirit hii roho is not carried by strangers haibebu na wageni strangers doesn't have a problem with you hawana shida na wewe because they don't know you maana hawakujui the carrier of the spirit wanaobeba hii roho are your own people ni watu wako mwenyewe the people that you sleep in the same bed with watu mnalala kitanda kimoja the people that you stay under the same roof watu mnakaa chini ya ba moja the people who are your work mate watu mnaofanya kazi pamoja the people who are in the political world watu mlio katika ulimwengu mmoja ya kisiasa and this spirit manifests itself differently na hii roho inajidhihirisha kitofauti and the carrier of this spirit anayebeba roho hii hallelujah hallelujah sometimes you may not be able to know them wakati mwingine hutaweza kuwatambua because they are your confidants e kwa sababu ni watu ambao unaweza wapea siri zako our confidants ni watu unaweza pea siri zako they are the people that know us well ni watu wanatujua vyema they are people who we dine together with them on our tables ambao tunakula pamoja mezani they are people who do we transact business together with them watu tunafanya biashara nao and let me just ni, 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 ni haribu kabisa <laughs> Wata ni haribu kabisa there are people that we pray together with them watu tunaomba pamoja we go in the same fellowship with them watu tunaenda ushirika pamoja that is how the serious spirit it is hii roho inamaanisha kiasi hicho the bible says in matthew 26 biblia sema katika mathayo 26 then judas iscariot yuda uh, yuda iscariot one of the 12 of disciples mmoja wa wale dinashara i want to post there nataka kukoma pale who was judas yuda alikuwa ni nani who was judas alikuwa ni nani judas was a disciple of jesus alikuwa ni mwanafunzi wa yesu judas was among the cabinet of jesus christ yuda alikuwa miongoni mwa cabinet ya yesu kristo and judas had a docket in that cabinet na alikuwa na kitengo katika cabinet hiyo 
One of the 12 disciples went to the leading priests. Mmoja wa wale dhinashara akamwendea kuhani wanaoongoza. Line number 15. And I, I want to open up your eyes, please. Na, nataka kufungua macho yako. Between line number 14 and line number 15, there is an information that is lacking there. Kati ya aya 14 na 15, kuna kitu kipengele kinakosekana pale. And that information, you will get it in Luke chapter number 22. Na hiyo tarifa utaipata katika Luka 22. And in line number 15, na katika aya 15, the Bible records, Biblia inaandika, I am waiting for line number 15. Kwa ni mehani? The Bible says in line number 15, and he said, Akasema, What are you willing to give me if I had Jesus over to you? Ninini mtakacho nipa, nami nitamsariti. And they weighed out that pieces of silver. Wakampimia vipande therathini vya feather. Therefore, all of you can agree with me. Kwa hivyo, nyinyi nyote mweza kubaliana nami. That before Judas went demanding for a payback. There were a lot of midnight meetings. Between line number 14 and line number 15, there were a lot of kamokojis. And this meeting were was involving the disciples of Jesus. Na hii mikutano ilikuwa inahusisha wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo. Because they all knew that they cannot be able to access Jesus unless they get one of them. Kwa sababu walijua hawawezi mfikia Yesu ila tu kwa kumpata mmoja wao. And he went back to them. Akarudi kwao. And he asked for a payback. Akauliza malipo. And he was given another of that pieces of silver. Akapimiwa fedha therathini. And I believe it was handed to him at that moment. Na natumai alipewa wakati ule. Because line number 16. Kwa sababu aya 16. Literally answers my argument. Inajibu swali langu. In line number 16. Aya 16. For from that time on, from the time he received the payback. Tokea wakati huo, wakati alipata hayo malipo. Judas began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Yuda akaza kutafuta nafasi kwa apata kumsaliti Yesu. What was the problem with Judas? Shida Yuda ilikuwa ni nini? I want to say this from the onset. Nataka kusema hili. That the devil always uses our weaknesses. Shetani hutumia udhaifu wetu. To attain and achieve his mission. Kupata na kukamilisha kazi yake. He knew Judas loved money. Alijua yuda anapenda pesa. And I am going to prove that in the book of John chapter number 12. Tadhibitisha katika luka kuminambili. We are going to start line number 4. Tutaanzia ane ya ine. So that we can be able to be on the same page. Ili tuwe ukurasa moja. The Bible says, but Judas is carried the disciples who would soon, who would soon betray him said. Lakini Yuda Eskarioti, mwanafunzi, ambaye hivi karibuni ange msaliti, I want you to underline the word soon will betray him because it was not yet time. Nataka uweke mstari kwa neno hivi karibuni ata msaliti kwa sababu mda hauko umefika. Where we have led in the book of Matthew after he received the silver he started working out an opportunity on how to betray Jesus. Mahali tumesoma katika Mathayo wakati alipokea ile mshahara alianza kupanga njama ya kumsaliti Yesu. And in this chapter of John chapter number 12 it was not yet time. Na katika sura hii ya 12 Yohana wakati hauko umewadia. But the Bible records that soon the one who will betray Jesus. Lakini Biblia imeandikwa hivi karibuni atakaye msaliti Yesu. He said, akasema, I number 5. Aya 5. I want you to 
will see how this spirit is scheming and how it strategizes I'm waiting for line number 5 uh, that is line number 4 give me line number 5 You have even disappeared. No signals. The, the Bible says in line number five, why was this perfume not sold for 300 denali and the money given to the poor? Biblia inasema mbona marhamu hii haikuuzwa na pesa hiyo ikapeanwa kwa maskini. And now we are going to expose the reason why Judas was angry. Na sasa tutafunua sababu ya Yuda kukasirika. Line number 6 the Bible says now he said to this he said this not because he cared about the poor for he had never cared about them now that is my Bible even in the past he have never taken care about them but because he was a thief and since he had the money box serving as treasurer for the 12 disciples he used to silver or steel what was put he put in it naye aliyasema hayo si kwa kuwahurumia maskini bali kwa kuwa ni mwivi naye ndiye aliyeshika mfuko na akavitukua vilivyotiwa humo basi yesu alisema mwache akiweke kwa siku za ya maziko only line number 6 okay therefore we see judas even from the past he had the intention of betraying Jesus. And in Luke chapter number 22, from line number 3, all hours for the sake of getting the context, we start from line number 1. Now the festival of unleavened blood which is called the Passover was approaching. The sheep pleased and the scribes were looking for a way to put him to death. For they were afraid of the people who uh, listened, defaulted the way to his teaching and who rejected, who respected his spiritual wisdom. Line number three is a very amazing line. This is where the water started beating Judas. Then Satan entered Judas. The one the one called Iscariot who was one of the 12 disciples and he went away and discussed with the sheep priests and officers how he might betray him and hand him over to them akaondoka akaenda kusema na wakuu wa makuhani na majemedari jinsi atakavyoweza kumtia mikononi mwao the enemy cannot deposit the spirit of betrayal in you without first of all winning your interest. Because line number three, the Bible says, then Satan uh, Satan entered Judas. And in Matthew chapter number 27, line number 3, the Bible records. When Judas, his betrayer, saw so that Jesus was condemned, he was gripped with remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the sheep priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They replied, what is that to us? See to that yourself. Kisha yuda yule mwenye kumsaditi alipoona ya kuwa amekwisha kuhukumiwa alijuta. Akawarudishia waku wa makuhani na waze vile vipende 30 vya feather akasema. Nalikosa nilipo isaditi damu isio na hatia. Wakasema basi. Haya ya tupasani, sisi. Let me tell you. 
Wacha nikwambie. Now I want to show you the picture of what is happening in our nation. Nataka kukuonyesha taswira inayofanyika katika taifa letu. I am studying in as a leader in the whole world. Nasimama kama kiongozi ulimwengu kote. And I am not the pope. Na mie sio pope. I want us to agree from that point. Nataka tukubaliane toka hapo. I am Pastor Mushiri anointed and filled of the Holy Ghost. Ni mchungaji mshiri aliyetiwa mafuta na Roho Mtakatifu. But I am standing on the position of a leader. Lakini nasimama kwa nafasi ya kiongozi. To open up your eyes. Kufungua macho yako. And show the mysteries that are happen in the corporate world. Kuonyesha siri zinazofanyika katika ulimwengu kote. And all that happens even where we are. Yote yanayotendeka mahali popote tulipo. After Satan entered Judas. Baada ya ibilisi kumuingia Judas. He started looking for an opportunity. Akaanza kutafuta fursa. And he was looking with the money on his pocket. Alikuwa anatafuta akiwa na pesa mfukoni. Because whatever he needed was given to him. Kwa sababu yote aliyohitaji alipewa. In the midnight kamokojis. Na katika mikutano hiyo ya usiku wa manane. Judas knew by himself. Yesu alijua kwake mwenyewe. That this is not the hour or the moment to You know there are some opportunities that you cannot let them go. Unajua kuna fursa zingine hawezi ziachilia zipotee. And probably he said this is not an opportunity that I let it go. Eh pengine akasema hii ni fursa ambayo sitaachilia yenyewe. This is my opportunity kuomoka. Hii ni wakati wangu wa kuomoka. This is my opportunity to get rich. Huu ni wakati wa kuanguka nayo. These opportunities are very rare. Ma fursa kama hizi si ni duni. And therefore immediately he started looking for an opportunity. Punde tu akaanza kutafuta fursa. On a how to betray Jesus. Na kwa jinsi ya kumsaliti Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in line number four, please uh, uh, project line number four. Let those scriptures stick there. Na aya ya nne. My Bible says. Biblia sema. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, My Bible says that saying I have seen by betraying innocent blood. Biblia yasema nimefanya dhambi kwa kusaliti damu isiyokuwa na hatia. They replied who? Wakauliza nani? The high priest. Wale makuhani wakuu. What is that to us? Hayo yanatuhusu nini? The worst thing of this spirit kitu kibaya zaidi cha huyu roho is that once it is over in using you mara tu imemalizana na wewe kukutumia it dumps you inakupiga kondo you suffer the consequences unanusurika matokeo no one thought that gashagwa and luto one day at a time they shall turn their they 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 they, 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 they are back against each other hakuna aliyethani luto na gashagwa wataangaliana migongo today they cannot talk Leo hawaongei. And everyone is walking around the clock even even not killing the health of the other. Wanafanya kazi hata bila kujali afya ya yule mwingine. But in the hour of campaign. Lakini wakati wa campaign. They were calling each other a brother. Walikuwa wanaitana kaka. But one of them was being used. Lakini mmoja wao alikuwa anatumika. And after the mission after the mission na baada ya mission after getting used baada ya kutumika my brother i don't know you kakangu mimi sikujui there is no even a loom for forgiveness hata sikusamehe ngo hamna what has he done that cannot be forgiven amefanya nini kipi hiki hakiwezi samehewa the next strategy is the one to be used mpango huo mwingine ni wa huyo mwingine wa kutumiwa unajua game ni kujipanga ni kujipanga ni kujipanga game ni kujipanga sasa wako katika mahali ya kujipanga kujipanga wako kujipanga and Judas na yuda say that i have betrayed an innocent blood akasema nimesaliti damu isiyokuwa na hatia and the high please asked him na makuhani wakuu wakamuuliza what is that to us 
sasa hayo yanatuhusu nini they replied wakajibu i love this fashion new and i feel they say that is your responsibility wakasema shauri yako it is your responsibility ni jukumu lako brethren wapendwa there is nothing painful hakuna kilicho na uchungu like if you have ever been betrayed kama kusalitiwa amen amen and i've said that we are not there betrayed na nasema atusalitiwi by strangers na wageni ama watu tusio wajua you are always betrayed utasalitiwa tu by a person that you walk together with na mtu muliandamana by a person who knows your heart mtu anajua moyo wako by the one you refuse a secret to mtu ambaye ulifunulia siri zako haleluya haleluya but who and all the betrayers lakini ole kwa wasaliti wote i stand as a servant of god nasimama kama mtumishi wa mungu and i am speaking to the nation now nazungumza na taifa sasa i'm speaking to the body of christ now nazungumzia moyo mwili I'm speaking to our family now. Naongea na familia zetu sasa. I am speaking to the priests of your employment now. Naongea mahali pako sasa. I am speaking to them that are in the business world. Naongea na walio katika ulimwengu wa biashara. If you are a betrayer. Kama wewe ni msaliti. Once the mission is done. Mradi tu kazi imefanyika. The consequences are left with you. Matokeo yansalia nawe. You are left to shoulder the responsibility. Umebeba majukumu mabegani wako. God will never allow you to go down the grave. Kwa sababu Mungu ataruhusu uende chini kaburini. Before the truth is revealed. Kabla ya ukweli kufunuliwa. That is the goodness of my father. Ah, huo ndio wema wa babangu. That is the goodness of my God. Huo ni wema wa Mungu wangu. There are hearts that are breathing now. Ah, kuna mambo yanajengwa sasa. There are there are hearts that are breathing oh kuna mioyo ambayo ina ina toka damu they are brothers toka ni toka who cannot sit on the same table kuna kaka toka ni toka hawezi kaa mezani pamoja i am talking to the families that are listening to me naongea na familia wanaonisikia yes you have been betrayed ndio umesalitiwa because there are families that have suffered betrayal kwa sababu kuna familia zinimenisurika saliti expect the other partner can do that haukutarajia huyu anaweza fanya hili maybe among the journey you could not have expected for him to shit or her to shit pengine njiani haukutarajia awe na mpango wa kando and one point you feel betrayed siku moja wakati mmoja ukahisi umesalitiwa and you have been walking a journey of breeding umekuwa ukitembea kwa kutokwa na damu maybe there is a certain agreement you entered with a certain person pengine kuna makubaliano mlingia na mtu fulani there is a deal that you are desiring to do kuna deal ambao mungefanya allow me to give an example with me niruhusu nipeane mfano nami i desire to enter into a business venture with another friend of mine natamani kuingia katika biashara na rafiki yangu and because i knew he did not have a cap kwa sababu nilijua hakuwa na pesa kuanzisha I went to my circle and took a loan Nikaingia kwa sako yangu nikachukua loan And Pastor Paul I want to thank you because you are my grantor Na kushukuru mchungaji Is what I'm saying true Simama wabii kama ni kweli Amen I I leased I took a hefty loan Nikachukua mkopo mkubwa thinking that we now it is time for me to do business nikidhani ni wakati wangu wa kufanya biashara niliashwa kwa mataa katikati i felt betrayed nikahisi nimesalitiwa i am talking to you naongea nawe i am talking to casualties naongea na waathiriwa maybe there is something that you, you, you shared with that person Pengine kuna kitu ulishiriki na huyu mtu. Thinking that it will remain in private. Ukidhani kitasalia kwenye siri. Only let alone to hear it in the public. 
And you feel betrayed. I am talking to that family. I'm talking to that mother. I'm talking to that father. I am talking to those children. I am talking to brothers and sisters. Who have ever betrayed you? All you have ever betrayed them. There is nothing painful. Like when you have been betrayed by a person that you love. By a confidant. Na confidant. By a workmate. By a business partner. By a partner in the politics. It is very painful. And I want to say this. Many people have gone down. Many people have killed themselves. They have hanged themselves. They have taken poison. Some of them they are under medication. Because the betrayal was too much for them. That they could not bear it anymore. Oh God help us. That no one under my command. Will ever become a casualty of the spirit. There are people who cannot face each other. There are people who cannot talk to one another. Not because they are bad. But one of them, Satan, entered. And betrayed the integrity of the other. What is that to her that it cannot be forgiven? Does it mean what the deputy president did was not reconcilable? They are doing things in haste. The betrayers never loves you. They don't care whether you shall live or die. It's none of their business. And when you discover they don't have any business with you. Men and women of God. I beseech all of us. That no one will become a casualty of the spirit. No one shall become a victim of this. Because it does not leave a safe ground for you to land on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was sharing with someone. And this is very painful. I, I, I tried to understand and to enter into the shoe of that young man. But the shoe was so big for me. We were discussing among ourselves. And I was asking this young man. What is the problem in your family? And he said. My best couple. Best couple he is the problem. I thought he is an example that I can emulate. Little did I knew. He came back to my wife. Wow. It's very painful. Some of things are painful, men of God. They, they are painful. I try to imagine on how we can reconcile these people together. And this my young man was saying, I shall never get married again. I shall never. Brethren, I beseech you by the masses of God. Never ever become a carrier of the spirit of betrayal. It is painful. People are under blood pleasures. People are encountering severe acidity in their lives. People are suffering from colonic 
medical answers. People are under deep depression. Not because there is anything that they did. But because somebody became an object of the devil. I plead with every son and daughter under my voice. Let us let us avoid this spirit like a bushfire. One it cashes with you. You will bear the consequences. And you know exactly the end result of Judas. He went and hanged himself. Because of guilty conscience in him. Why is the deputy president Adabed Liden? Or in the hospital. I'm saying this so that that message can sink deep in you. It is the best example now. It is because he has been betrayed. I know we may see this thing in different political, political angles. But if you are the deputy president now, you have learned to go through what our deputy president is going through. I am, I am, I am just putting a question to all of us. Does it mean all other avenues were not pleasant that they could have reconciled before spilling the beans in the public? Was it necessary for them to wash their dirty linen in the public? I spoke about the spirit of Jezebel. And it is a killer spirit. And it does not target a common mwananchi. It is a spirit that is always after the leaders. Check on what is happening in our nation. But the end result, even Jezebel will die. I feel like to preach now. The Bible says in the book of 2nd King. Chapter number 9 and line number 33 to the last line. After that, God anointed Jehu. There is a man in the Bible who is not well known. After Elijah, there was Eliezer. And then there was Jehu. And the Bible records that what Elijah, Elijah shall not deal with. Eliezer will deal with it. And whatever shall escape Elijah and Eliezer, Jehu will come with the Ladeco anointing. I want to prophesy over your life that some of the demons that you have been facing, they cannot go without prayer and fasting. And they do Demand the anointing of Jehu. The Bible says, after that, Jehu killed Josiah, King Josiah. And after he is done with the King Josiah, he went to the main spirit. Who was God? Jezebel. The Bible says, Jezebel, please let us read so that you can be able to understand. Go to back to line number 33. I am going to be faster. Please, I am just going to read. Throw her down. Go, go, go back. Go back to line number. Uh, go to line number that one. I see. As Jehu entered the gate, she asked, Have you come in peace, you seemly, you mandala of your master? This is after 
Jehu has dealt with King Josiah. Hii ni baada ya Yehu kupambana na mfalme Yosaya. And line about that too we go fast. He looked upon the widow and called out who is on my side? Who? Two or three you not look down at him. It's becoming shit. Throw her down. Mtupeni chini. I want to tell you my brothers my sister. Nataka nikwambie kakangu dadangu. It is not all people who hate you. Sio watu wote wanaokuchukia. In the camp. Katika kambi yao. God have left two or three eunuch. Mungu ameacha watu wawili ama watatu. And when Jehu landed at the court of Jezebel palace. Wakati Yehu aliingia katika ikulu ya Jezebel. He asked Akaudiza. Who is on my side? Ni nani aliye upande wangu? And two or three eunuch. Na matawashi wawili, watatu. They were given a command. Wakapewa amri. Throw her down. Mtupeni chini. Can I get two gentle three 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 big gentlemen? Watu barubaru watoke hapa watatu. Three young people. Where is where is Jabez? Where is Omodi? Where is Kujani na 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 nina? Jabez we keti. Where Keti? Devi Kuja. <laughs> Ajabes Kuja at away. And El Jehu asked. Yes, Jehu Kaudiza. Is there anyone who is on my side? And two or three eunuch. Matowashi wawili ama watatu. You are not Jezebel. Come here. <laughs> You know Jezebel. I am just giving an example. <laughs> These are workers in your parish. Let me just open up your eyes. In as much as they are loyal to you. When it comes to the hour of God. God will change their mind. And they shall become an object of divine assignment. And Jehu said line about that three. Jehu akasema haya 33. Throw her down. Mtupeni chini. I want you to throw Jezebel down now. <laughs> eh, no no, it it it, it nyote. Jezebel throw her down. Mtupeni chini. Jehu said. <laughs> so they threw her down and some of her blood spattered the wall and the horses as they trampled her body. Uskanyage. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Unajua rudugu yake nimemwona mahali sitaki. Nimemwona pale. Wewe, hebu kuja. I have seen you at the far back. Kuja. The brother to the V. I can see you. Unataka nipigwe mawe? Na huyu ndio mkoba wao. Si nimemwona mnafanana siku moja wamenichanganya kitu kingine hawa. Hawa. This is a brother to Devi. Huyu ni kaka yake Devi. Huyu. Atumkanyagi. Atumkanyagi. But we are just illustrating. So si nifikwe ndugu yako. Please go and sit. The Bible says and the horses. Imagine the horses. Biblia inasema farasi. They trapped on her at the foot. Wakamkanyaga kanyaga. Na unajua farasi za mfalme zinakuwa zimewekwa chuma. Zina chuma kwenye kwato. Kwato, zinakuwa na chuma. Zina chuma. Where? Unajua unajua me I have been brought up as a boy. Allow me just to use that language. As a boy. Na tulikuwa tunaenda kulisha. Na sometimes tulikuwa tunaenda kufunga ngombe. Sasa ile mnaenda mchezo mchezo ngombe inakuja inakukanyaga I have a mark here I can show you It's painful Nikuchungu <laughs> It's painful kwanza ngombe imekanyaga kama imeshoka Wanyi <laughs> hamjui Siku moja mimi nimeenda kufunga tulikuwa tumeipeleka mahali sita mwabie ni wapi Nilikuwa na kaba na nilikuwa na kinyasa na sina kiatu Chezo chezo tu wa vijana ngombe imeniteka na kamba imeniagusha inanivuruta Ujayo na kifupi kama hiyo. <laughs> Matako ilikuwarwa. Oh, oh, I, I grew up as a boy. I am your pastor. 
I am not, I know, the Gen Z may not understand that. They may not. One day as I was walking comfortably, I was walking comfortably. I went from nowhere. I was walking from I was I'm just trying to show you the pain this woman went through. Line, line number that for the Bible says. We go first. She went in and ate and drank. <laughs> My friend, give me that courage. When you you Ananda kwa mfalme mm -hmm. Ana get shini mm -hmm. She went in and ate and drank Take care of the cast woman He said mm -hmm. And he buried her For she was a king's daughter mm -hmm. This is ridiculous Chairman Hii ni madharawo Ameua Arabu ananda kwa mfalme Ana get Ana kula na kunyo Ana wabia Take care of the cast woman how can you take care of a dead person? The best care is just to bury. Nothing short of that. Ah, I need the Jehu anointing. It's got the radical anointing. It doesn't spare. It doesn't fear. It deals with the spirit as they are. And, and that is what our nation demands and require now. Man who will arise and say President Luto, what you are doing is long. Uh, uh, raisi, and it is not constitutional. Na si na you cannot amend the constitution to crucify one day who was a, a patriot to you. It is ungodly. Sio kiungu. It is ungodly. Siki ungu. Anambia take care. Then to tell me kapa sini. Gumariza na mariza. But when they went out, this is the most interesting part. When they went out to bury her, they found nothing except her skull, her feet, and her arts. Line of that six. They went back and told Jehu, who said this, who said, this is the word of the law that he spoke through his servant Elijah the Teshabite mm -hmm. on the prot on the prot of ground at Jezreel, dog will devour Jezebel fresh. You can read it in the book, the first book of King chapter number twenty-one and line number twenty-three. You'll find the same word there. Wafalme wa kwanza ishina moja aya ishina tatu utapata haya maneno. The next line is that the last one. That is seven. If you want to understand the reason why the skull and the hands and uh, the, the, uh, the other was not eaten, please go and do the Bible study. Enda ufanye, usome Biblia, ufanye Bible study, ukitaka kudua kwa nini mifupa. Mothers, I love you all. Wamama na wapenda sana. And I'm not against anyone. I was just reading the scripture. I was just reading the scripture. I do not tell you the reason why. But I want to tell you that she was Jezebel. She was a harlot. A representation of the devil. The last we shall continue from there. And you can see exactly what has been happening. The every sort of this spirit of betrayal is death. It is a very deceptive spirit. It is it, the, 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 actually John 8:44. It is the devil himself. It is a spirit that really manifests itself in disloyalty. It always turns the heart of men to the other side. From chapter number 22 of Luke, 
That is where this evil spirit entered Judas. Hapa ndipo hii roho ovu ilimuingia Yuda. All the other days. Siku hizo zingine zote. He was just but a thief. Alikuwa tu ni mwizi. But on that particular moment. Lakini wakati ule. He turned his loyalty. Akageuza kuaminika kwake. Against Jesus. Didi ya Yesu. Who, who appointed him to be the CS for treasury ambaye alimteua kuwa waziri mkuu katika fedha It is a spirit that always look for self interest. Ni roho ambayo inajitakia mema yake tu. And we are seeing that in John 12 line number 6. Tunaiona katika Yohana 12 aya ya 6. It always look for a gain. Yeah, you tu faida yake. It is a better the assassinate crucify and do all manners of negativity hata kama nikupitia kwa kuangika na kufanya mambo yote maovu rather than starting with loyalty hata kuliko kusimama na uaminifu it is a spirit that manifests itself through greed ni roho inayojionyesha kupitia kwa ulafi or covetousness ama tamaa first team of the chapter number 6 and line number 10 wafalme wa kwanza 6:10 it manifests itself through hidden motives hujionyesha kupitia kwa nia zilizofichwa acting under false pretense or hidden agendas ikitekeleza kwa agenda fiche you can see that in the book of proverbs chapter number 26 weza ona katika methali 26 line number 24 to line number 26 aya 24 hadi 26 it is the spirit that if i already trust ni roho ambayo inavuruga ile trust ama kuamini breaking confidence on trust ikivunja confidence psalms that are five Uh, Psalms 55 sorry. Zaburi 55. Line number 12 to line number 14. Aya 12 hadi 14. Whenever the spirit of betrayal is Popote roho ya usaditi ipo. There must be violation of trust. Lazima kuwe kuvuruga trust ama kuamini. Let me just speak to the married. Wacha nizungumze na walio kwenye ndoa. How could you feel or what could you do when you discover your partner is cheating uta unaweza fanyaje ama utafanyaje ukigundua ya kwamba mwenzako ana mwingine nje let me just give an example with my wife my wife how would you feel if you fight you now i'm not a pastor i am a man you you fight that i am cheating or i fight you that you are cheating kwani mnacheka wapedwa mimi nimwambia leo tunaongea today we are talking you feel betrayed unahisi umesalitiwa and even though there will be fault a reconciliation na ingawa kutapatikana mapatano the trust the trust ule uaminifu the trust will remain wanting will remain wanting that is the truth huo ndio kweli That is the truth. Wondi ukweli. What I am going to go further and say. Lakini nitaendelea kusema. Once the trust is uh, is, is is broken. Uh, wakati ule uaminifu umevunjwa. All of you rated. Ama umevurugwa. There is also the breach of relationship. Na pia kuna uhusiano the breach of relationship. Damaging and is feeling a close relationship. Eh, eh, kuvunja na kuharibu ule uhusiano wa karibu. Mika chapter number 7 95 and 6. Mika 7 5 na 6 yasema. The Bible records that your greatest enemy are the people of the same household. Maadui makuu maadui wakuu ni watu mlio katika nyumba moja. People that you associate with. Watu mnaohusiana. Your immediate neighbor jirani wako karibu you are wafanyikazi wenzako just a, a, a colleague in politics eh, mwenzako katika siasa hallelujah hallelujah it is painful ni uchungu mno it operate through double dealing yatekeleza kwa ku double deal proverb 20 line number 19 methali 20 19 it is a tapeworm spirit ni ni no, tapeworm tap na itakuwa tena hiyo kutakitari tapeworm ni tapeworm So I uh, so I know English. <laughs> It is a tapeworm. You know tapeworm can attack on both ends. 
huyu tepo wa mdudu ana ana huyo mnyo anaweza shambulia kwa pande zote anauma kanisani anauma katika ulimwengu anauma kanisani anauma ulimwengu anauma katika familia anauma katika biashara anauma kwa familia anauma kwa biashara it is a bad spirit ni roho mbaya spirit of double dealing roho ya double dealing in one end you are sorting issues together uh, upande mmoja unaangalia mambo pamoja on the other hand messages are being sent na huu mkono mwingine unatuma ujumbe this is what is being planned eh, kinapangwa hivi wanasema hivi unafikiria ninyi na pia washe niwaambie baada ya senate almost kukubaliana na request ya muite wakati tu walida kabri kadogo tu hivi baba yote kabadilikana si ndivyo shaman when they came back <laughs> it was not the same it was not business as usual haikuwa biashara kama kawaida tepo wamu tepo munyo munyo ikiingia katika mwili wa mwanadamu mnaitoka na dawa gani tujue ya kiroho sasa kutoka hapo Is it is entel or abcd <laughs> oh abc abc koko na dai naita go abc ya minyo na tinidazo ama keroma 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 kama ajiro akieni kakiingia kwa katika mwili wa mwanadamu kana kunyonya Daktari ndio kana sababu pia mtu akuwa na tubo kubwa. Doc, ndio na kazabisha mtu not leaket. Ni tuminyo gani tuna sababu cha mtu akuwa na tubo kubwa? Yeah. When you are getting into I'm talking very very deep things. Na ongea mambo mazito. Guy, usu why to have a group that is double dealing? You are loyal in your family you view out. Wewe ni mwaminiko kwa familia yako ukitoka nje mtu mwingine. Shindwe. Shindwe kigeugeu. It has got false loyalty. Ina uaminifu uo uongo. Pretending to be loyal while planning betrayal. Ikijifanya e, iko nanyi lakini inapanga usaliti. Psalms 419:9. Zaburi uh, 49:1. It is it has it is malice it it is malice in nature. Uh, ina ugomvi ndani yake. Matthew 26:15. Mathayo 26:15. It always operate through abish. Abish. Utega mitego. Uh, utekeleza kwa kutega mitego setting up trap for someone to be uh, unsuspecting ikitegea mtu aanguke bila kutarajia psalm 64:5 and 6 zaburi 64:5 na 6 kuja inakuwekea mtego kama vile alishaba bwana yakaga mitego kule na huko unakuja tu unakanyaga grunet nda inakuinua na wanafurahia abish Whatever is happening in our government is just but abuse nothing short of that. Kile kinafanyika katika taifa katika serikali ni mitego. Unajua mama wanaekega wazee mitego na wazee wanaekega kina mama mitego. Si ni kweli? Ama ama hamtaki niseme hiyo. <laughs> ni vile tuko na wanalika. Inakuanga. Mm, inakuanga ni vile tuko na wa. Sinipigie bwana makofi. Unaona mama amepangia. Kita kujua bwana yake kama anakatia ganje. Anaenda akavaye wewe. Sikia vile atakwambia. Unaingia kwa nyumba unakuta. Kuko karibu kulipuko. God help us. Mungu tusaidie. It is false flattery. Eh, ina leta mambo ya uongo. Using as in sea place to deceive. Eh, kutumia kitu kinachoonekana ni cha ukweli kudanganya. Proverb 26:28. Medhani 28:28. 26:28. A good example. Mfano mzuri. Is David and Saul. Ni Daudi na Sauli. In the book of 1 Samuel. 
katika kitabu cha Samuel wa kwanza and they started singing wakaanza kuimba that david has killed in thou in hundred of thousands eh uh, da, uh, saudi ameua 1000 daudi ameua <laughs> Daudi ameua maelfu ya mamia ya maelfu na Saudi makumi ya maelfu and from that particular moment an enemy arose again between Saul and David tangia hapo wadui ukainuka kati ya Saudi na Daudi not all clubs you will see while they are placing you some of them they may be leading you they may be taking you to hell sio makofi yote unaona ukipigiwa inakukusifu kuna mengine ndio kupeleka kuzimu keep it my brother endelea kakangu you are doing good unafanya vyema whenever you hear people placing you wakati unasikia watu wanakusifu you are supposed to pause for a while unafaa ukome kidogo and ask yourself ujiulize what is this hii ni nini because they might be praising you kwa sababu wanaweza kuwa wanakusifu while leading you to your ad- wana wakikuelekeza mtegoni Nidi kana ni mnanyita Sijui kama mnanipata It has a disguised intentions Ina manuia ambayo yamejigeuza Second Samuel 15:10 to 12 Samueli wa 2:15 hadi 12 It always reject truth Wa inakataa ukweli John 3:20 Yohana 3:20 It always at the mind authority. Eh ukiuka uh, mamlaka. Numbers chapter number 16 line 1 to 3. Hesabu 16 moja hadi 3. And Dathan Abiram and Kola lost against Moses. Nadhani na Kola wakainuka dhidi ya Musa. And they asked him. Wakamuuliza. Does it mean it is only you who God speak to? Inamaanisha kuwa ni wewe tu Mungu anaongelesha. Go and lead that entire chapter. Waenda usome hiyo sura yote. This spirit is so unfaithful. Hii roho haina uaminifu kamwe. It doesn't have faithness. Haina uaminifu. It is a spirit that cannot be relied to. Ni roho ambayo huwezi itegemea. Jeremiah 3 line number 20. Jeremiah 3 hadi 20. It be praise confidence. Husaditi confidence. Proverb 11:13. Mithali 11:13. I've just given an example. Ninapeana tu mfano. If Pastor Elizabeth happened to fight that Pastor Mushiri is cheating. Kama mchungaji Elizabeth atapata mchungaji Mushiri ana What she, what, what will she conclude? Yeye atasema nini? My husband has betrayed me. Mume wangu amenisaditi. He has betrayed my confidence. Amesaditi uaminifu wangu. It is a back spirit. Ni roho inayoshambulia toka nyuma. Amen. Amina. It act against someone who is not aware of. Inatekeleza wakati mtu hajui. He example yele kapisha niliwatumia. <laughs> mtu anakugonga toka nyuma. Mnaaguka nyo? Shida ni kwamba you rotate from the behind and if there is going down you go down all of you. Kama kuna kuanguka mtaanguka nyote. I pray that no one shall ever go down. No. Who is under my voice? Hakuna yeyote chini ya sauti yangu ataenda chini. It is very manipulative as I conclude. Ni danganyifu mno ninapotamatisha. It try to control. Inajaribu kudhibiti. It try to influence someone. Inajaribu kushawishi mtu. In unfair manner. Finally. Hatimaye. Rejection of allies. Kukataliwa kunainuka. It breaks the relationship of brothers inavunja uhusiano wa mandugu it harms those who were once trusted inajeruhi wale ambao wakati mmoja walikuwa wameaminika john 13 and 9 number 18 yohana 13 aya 18 that is exactly what is happening hicho ndicho kinatendeka it is have not it have not only affected our nation haijaathiri tu taifa letu it has also affected the border of Christ. Imeathiri pia mwili wa Kristo. It have affected our families. Imeathiri familia zetu. You find it in your house in in your working place. Utaipata kazini mwako. And it come disguising itself. Itakuja imejigeuza as a good spirit. 
kama roho nzuri but the end of the day lakini hatimaye the mission is to betray you e kazi yake ni kikusaliti who am i talking to nazungumza na nani i am talking to you nazungumza nawe who have ever become a casualty of the spirit ambaye ushajeruhiwa ama ukaathiriwa na roho hii and i want to say this nataka nseme hivi that no one among us hakuna yeyote miongoni mwetu have never suffered from the spirit hajawahi teseka kutokana na roho hii hata mchungaji wenu hata mchungaji let us all be upstanding tusimame let us all be upstanding tusimame the bible says that contend against the enemy biblia inasema pigana dhidi ya adui contend pigana i don't know who i was talking to sijui nilikuwa naongea na nani i don't know the family that i was talking to sijui jamii nilikuwa naongea nayo i don't know the business person that i was talking to sijui mwanabiashara niliyekuwa naongea naye but i know lakini najua that god has spoken to someone mungu ameongea na mtu i was saying this if it was the time our time today nilikuwa nasema ingekuwa ni wakati wetu leo wakati mnafanya mkutano messages za tumwa kuna rekodiwa mnabii wa Yesu juu amefika mahali utakapofika uone uh, mtu ambaye amefalia huyo dio but by then lakini wakati ule Judas embraced him eh, Judas alimkumbatia as we pray unapoomba i have this message all over for all of us nina ujumbe huu kwetu sisi sote that even when Jesus Christ knew hata wakati Yesu alijua who was to betray him atakaye msaliti and even after betrayal na hata baada ya kusalitiwa Jesus Christ out of love Yesu Kristo kwa upendo and while she was in great pain na alipokuwa katika uchungu mkuu he opened up his mouth and said akafungua kinywa chake akasema Father forgive them Baba wasamehe because they know not what they are doing Maana hawakujua walichokifanya There is no other limit of the spirit of betrayal Hakuna dawa nyingine ya roho hii except forgiveness Isipokuwa tumsamaha And I want to speak to you Nataka kuzungumza nawe Yes the betrayal has been so real Ndio usaliti umekuwa hakika It has violated your trust Imevuruga kuamini kwako You have reached to a point of feeling as if you cannot forgive Umefika mahali unahisi ni kama huwezi Jesus Christ did not forgive them Yesu Kristo kama hanga just like that Hakuwasamehe tu He forgive them because of love Aliwasamehe kwa sababu ya upendo I want to challenge all of us that some of the things that we go through it is very hard for us to forgive but we must forgive if we are reflecting the true love because in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 13 it bible records that True love never have a grudge. Upendo kamili hauweki rekodi ya mambaya. True love does not revenge. Upendo wa kweli hauna kisasi. True love always forgives. Huwa unasamehe. I stand as your pastor. Nasimama kama mtungaji wako. With this garment in you know, with me. Eh na pamoja nami. That despite how I have been betrayed. Eh licha ya vile nimesalitiwa. Despite how you have been betrayed. Licha ya vile umesalitiwa. There is love on the cross. Kuna upendo msalabani. There is love on the cross. Kuna upendo pale msalabani. Forgiveness that is not subjected to any terms and conditions. Msamaha ambao hauna sheria na masharti. That is all what Christ is asking for. Huo ndio Kristo anauliza. Can you be able to forgive that husband of yours? Je, waweza msamehe mmeo? You have been tapping or beating your chest. Umekuwa ukijipiga kifua. That I cannot forgive him. Siwezi msamehe because of what he did to me. Kwa sababu ya yale anifanyia. It was you. Ingalikuwa wewe. Who was in that state? Ambaye uko katika hali hiyo. What would you like him to do to you? Ungetakaje kufanyie? Would you love him to forgive you? Ungependa kusamehe? I am talking to you husband. Ninazungumza na wewe mume. I'm talking to you mothers. Na pia nyinyi wa mama. I'm talking to you who are employers. Na nyinyi mlioajiri. I'm talking to you who is a neighbor. Ambaye ni jirani. 
I am talking to you. I am talking to you. If Jesus Christ went far and built a forgiving Judas, who are you not to forgive? 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 Who are we not to forgive? Betrayal has got no other remedy. It can only be solved when people embrace forgiveness. When people embrace love, a time comes just to echo someone that was spoken by a late politician that a time will come when Kenya will become more, will become greater than an individual. And I want to speak to all of us. A time has come when the love of the cross becomes greater than our differences. It doesn't matter what you have been subjected to. The truth of the matter is that you have been wounded. But it do you have a heart to forgive? Do you have a heart to forgive? If Christ forgive our sin, who are we not to forgive? Please lift up your hearts above your head and breed for your heart. Breed for your heart. Breed for yourself. Yes, you are holding but the only way for you to get healed it is to clothe yourself with a garment of forgiveness let us overcome evil by doing what is good is there anyone who may start unto the cup and prayed with the heaven because of what has been happening if you have never been betrayed let us pray for our nation in parliament there is betrayal in senate there is betrayal in executive there is betrayal we are waiting to see the, 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 the judiciary whether we shall fight betrayal among our ethnicity among our tribes, our protocol defined. There is betrayal. There is betrayal. I am standing as your servant. And I am pleading with the heaven that no one will become a casualty of the spirit of betrayal. It has left me the wounded. It has left many breeding. It has caused division among brethren. It has caused people to die. It has subjected people to bondages of a, a medication. It has left family crying. Father, I am standing on this altar. Contending against this spirit. In any area that it has affected. I contend with it. I contend with it. I contend with it. For the Bible says. That you shall contend with them that contend with us. Father contend on our behalf. Against the spirit of betrayal. In our nation. And any other area that has been affected. Because you are faithful father. You are a merciful father. For the Bible says. That love covers. 
pass the multitude of sin. How I pray that love may prevail upon our leaders, upon our nation, upon the body of Christ, upon our families, upon our business world, upon our neighbors, upon our working workplace. God, Mungu. you are love. May your love be reflected in us. That is my prayer. That is my prayer.